epic Stattle One speedruns of statistics. Brian Stevens versus Chapter Four: Understanding and Comparing Distributions. Begin. Side by side box plots are bivariate displays of a quantitative y variable and a categorical x variable. We asked in this example, how much did people tip? And we also asked, what day of the week was it? Now to interpret these, we need to understand the five number summary inside of these box plots. Let's zoom in on a little bit here and see one of these. You'll notice that Sunday looks pretty easy to interpret because it has no outliers. We've got down here the minimum value down here where the lower whisker is, then the edge of the box. Let me show you exactly where this is at. The edge of the box right there is where the 25th percentile is at. The median is going to be the line that usually we see. Sometimes it overlaps, but that's the median, and that's the 50th percentile. Next, we'd go up to the 75th percentile, which is Q3. And then we have over here the maximum. The maximum is the highest number. This one does not have any outliers, but we can have outliers on the low side. And right here, these outliers on the low side, this is gonna be the minimum. Someone did not tip anything on Friday. And then we also have the maximum right here, which is the highest value. We still have the other numbers here, such as Q1 and Q3. And I'm just putting the median on the other side so it's easier to write it. And so it's important to note that the min and the max can be outliers. And you'll notice here that the outliers, if you're wondering, and I do have a video going over this more in depth, and I put it probably in the playlist down below this video, but we need to be able to understand where the outliers begin in a box plot, and they begin 1.5 IQRs above Q3 and 1.5 IQRs below Q1, if there are outliers. One big question that often gets people on the test is which of these box plots has the greatest range? So people often look to the box plot itself and say, aha, I found it. That one has the greatest range. But do not forget to include outliers because this answer is definitely Tuesday and we could estimate the range for Tuesday. If you look, Tuesday looks to hit here about at one for its minimum value and 40 for its highest value. And that's a good tip. So the range of tips on Tuesday look to be about 39, just 40 minus one is the range. So whenever you're looking at the range of a box plot, do not forget to look at the outliers. They are included when we calculate the range. Now, when we compare histograms, we can do this the same way. Now, this is a bivariate display of data too, because we have the quantitative Y for the histogram. We're asking still tip amount. And we're also looking at a categorical variable of did someone pay cash or card? So we're basically breaking this apart into two different categories. We have here card and we have here cash, which is what did you pay with? And then we have how much did you pay, which is the quantitative why we're analyzing. Now it's important to note, and we'll mention this again, but they should have common scaling. If you notice here, stacked histograms, which is a bivariate display of quantitative categorical data, should have the same scaling on these axes right here. That's common scaling on the axes. If we do not do this, we'll get something that looks like this right here. So you notice right here, this is the same graphic I showed earlier, but now it's displayed from zero to 250, and this doesn't look to be too good of a display. They have completely different scaling, and it doesn't make sense. So you want that common scaling to make it look like the distributions are comparable right here. If you look, we can actually compare the two and see that they have similarities and we can make comparisons here with the numbers also. Now I do wanna mention again, you saw I skipped interpreting box plots. I have a video already made on this. I go over how to draw a box plot and how to interpret it, where the outliers are and how to calculate that. Watch that video as a review. We won't ask you to draw a box plot on the test, but it's important to know where the numbers come from and how to interpret them. Last but not least, we have trends in time plots. Let's go down here to the trends in time plots. Whenever we have a time plot, a time plot is a special case scatter plot, and all of these are quantitative quantitative. So what is the difference between a time plot and a scatter plot? Well, a time plot has time on the x-axis. Maybe we're asking about the price of an item, which makes it the y variable, it's what we want to analyze, over time, like what's the price of milk over time? You can see there is this somewhat linear trend in the price of milk. It may have dipped there maybe in the 90s, but 
the price of milk over time would be displayed in a time plot, which is a special case scatter plot. Scatter plot over here with height and weight would just show kind of the trend in a quantitative quantitative relationship. And that's got it. We've gone sub five minutes. Make sure to review that box plot video and study up and good luck.